these are cookies. Oh, shit. Chocolate, there's a chocolate chip. Right there. This cookie is not for kids. This cookie, if you had the new iPhone that could capture smell, you would be like, Dad, Dad, that's one stink ass fucking cookie right here. Time. Shout out my nigga Wade, shout out his little brother Dylan, just graduated high school and the day I was recording Dear High School on Economics, so I'll be shouting out Wade. Wade's the one that told me, you know, my Nephilim, you gotta roll your wings back, roll your shoulders back, show your wings, my wings are pure bright, bright white, you see them watch this, I'm gonna roll them back again. Right, see I can't, right, you see, you see the wings, right, the white, you see it right there, it's white, right, you see it, it's, the, you see it, right, the wings are the same color as the wall back there, you see, Right? So shout out to Wade, he showed me how to roll my That's the new dance right there. You roll up on a nigga before you punch him, roll your wings back, knock that nigga out. What's this nigga doing? He's doing the duck duck goose. You know what I'm saying? Roll your wings back, roll up on a nigga. You know, like, that's the scariest thing to me. A nigga running up and what's up now, nigga? What's up now? I'm like 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 there's no way we're gonna be able to talk this out. Like his arms are already swinging. Like it's like like oh shit. I gotta go in the duck mode and then I'm the plug. I end the plug with the stock market, the foreign currency trading, the cryptocurrency trading, all of that. The entire, if you're interested in the world of investments, I am the plug. And when that's obvious, you're going to get charged. But I'm the plug on so much shit, bro. Like I got the grip on all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the new technology, what to invest in. I mean, like, I got all the companies. I mean, like, I'm the fucking plugin. I don't even know. I got the books. I wrote them with all the. I am the fucking plug. I, I'm, I'm putting my effort towards, like, these YouTube videos and building that back up and seeing what happens with that. So I can be the plug with that and get that part out there, you know, maybe. But, yeah. Oh uh, shit, what he say? He knows how to push himself into the afterlife. And he's done it several times. Took away his post and came back. And when he went there, he was out in space. And then someone took his grandfather's voice, or he just heard this deep voice. And he, they just screamed at him and said, You're not supposed to be here yet! <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, right? <laughs> I didn't know. How do you come from somebody like that? Dropping Alice in the mail by scare ass. She got scared. You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. I blew through four O's with you in the first month. Like, real shit. Like, you never had your O before. So I wanted to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You know what I'm saying? You had two. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you smoked one with me. And the other one, that was all you. And then in between those two, you might have ended up getting another old total, just daily uh, per diem. Breaking off per diem every day, just boom, just boom. You know what I'm saying? Because I got it, and I fuck with you, so you got it. You know what I'm saying? You want it, because I want it. These Instagram videos have shown me is that I'm a fucking star and it's shining bright and I'm almost ready and I'm excited because at the end of the day, 
I can honestly say I'm still that 12 year old kid who had first got the camera and it was just this new world like I can create something with this like like I was like just walking through the halls filming a movie the opening sequence with the Trip Daddy song playing and just like making an opening sequence and like you know and so yeah I gotta go to work though so I can't even stay in the zone out there. Nobody else is going to do that. Especially of the opposite sex. Especially like not stress anything. I never stress anything. I just told you how I felt. But I never uh I just getting that out of the way, so now we can just move past that. This is out there, you know, so now that's the underlying basis. So with everything else that I end up doing, you're gonna wonder why. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Well, you already know why I'm doing that. You know why I'm doing that. You get it. Now we can move past that and get on to business. And because I have that strong infatuation with you, we're gonna get this shit done. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's. Alright, for the record, yes, I have a potty mouth. For the record, I like to say big words as well, and some people would think that's preposterous, so. Not preposterous. Well, preposterous because it's, uh. See, that's just another big word, asshole. Look, accidentally saying big words. Not preposterous, but it can still apply, but. Pretentious, right? It's just, I like big words. I like words, man. So, so you make up your fucking mind. Maybe I curse more to be more relatable because I do use a lot of big words. So occasionally I will just say fuck this and just talk ignorant, bring a little bit more comfort. And it brings me a little bit of relief, you know, to just see the look in your face and I just start dropping the fucking F-bomb. You know, it is because I really, really like you that you are plugged in and I am the plug on so many levels. So now the plug really, really likes you. So now you're really, really plugged in with the plug. So that's all it is. I'm the plug. I really, really like you. So now you're plugged in. It's just that simple. You got lucky. I fucking like you. And I'm the fucking plug. Plug you right in. You know what I'm saying? Like, to the network. It's, uh, to the universe. This whole thing. Like, I'm the fucking plug. Like, I'm not lying to you. Like, and, and then when I show you, then it's gonna be too late. Cause then I'm just starting. I'm dropping money out the bag and just asking you what you want to do and just watching you just melt and I don't give a fuck what that nigga was saying he could suck his own fucking dick fuck out of here then I start talking to myself about how preposterous this motherfucker is you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying like this nigga wants me to keep going but where's the space show me the space to keep going Find the fucking space. Where's the fucking space? He says keep going. Where's the space? You know what I'm saying? Are you dead? <laughs> like real shit. Like real shit. Like I be in here coming up with ideas that can influence the future. So just stay the fuck out of my face. Yeah, please. I told her I was a unicorn and I had special powers. And every time I said that, she just repeated it and just looked at me. You know, like she believed me. I am a unicorn with special gifts. 
You know? I'm a cosmic unicorn. Oh shit. I'm that guy. I'm the unicorn of our generation. It's all me. I am universally agreed to be extremely weird and strange. It is me. It is I. It is I. My eyes see the future. Right? I am a genie. And I've been set free. I master. I Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really like doing that. It's really <laughs> Listen. I don't hear you niggas listening. So uh where's Sam? Hey Sam, looking kinda of black there, buddy. Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible! Who does that? Who does that? So we're gonna stop now. So basically it's like, you know, uh, my spiritual, spiritual what I was gonna say, my spiritual um, awareness is stuck on mission mode to where I'm always aware that I'm in this mission. So the pressure of that is enormous, but a lot of relief, a lot of satisfaction, just knowing that um, I have a great chance of getting the majority of the stuff done, and um, once that's done, then it's like, hopefully that was part of the mission, you know, but yeah, it's just, I'm not fun or in it at all. That's why I'm such a pothead. Like, that was my replacement. I didn't do anything that was fun except to smoke ounces and ounces and ounces and ounces and ounces of. It's like, what I am up to, like, she'll wonder what I'm up to, is just honestly showing her, like, what. Like. What it really looks like. When the guy cares, like for real, for real, that's all. She doesn't know what that shit's like. That's all. Hell nah. Like, totally straight up, like, I'm working on the outside and she just melted in my arms, like, and all I did was just, like, touch her shoulders and softly told her, stop doing that. You know, cause she was trying to like, you know, like, kept talking about why she was doing it. And I was like, chill, just stop doing that. I was like, and that's when I realized, I was like, yeah, I can kiss her right here. Good morning, everyone. Carla Carlos here. Episode, we don't know. Cause we've been going in, bro. So, let's turn that down just a little bit. Sounds like what they play when he's sinking to the bottom of the ocean and she's watching him. What movie is that? So, I got her to talk to me by telling her my deep, dark secret as to why I'm so emotional. And then she said, I'm sorry you had to go through that. And then she said, I never had a problem with you being emotional, so I'm not gonna ask her what the problem was. It was a very boring to hear, period. Overall, I had a lot of really fun moments, a lot of really extravagant moments and stuff too, but just in general, just the whole idea of like, okay, I'm gonna stay in the house and create 10,000 files. Yeah, you're gonna be in there for a while, buddy, good luck. And, you know, and I was.
and I still am, you know, but now I'm in New York, and it's a whole different vibe, and it's like, whoa, and now you're back on YouTube, and now it's like, whoa, you know, um, when you stopped, last time on YouTube, you had 80 subscribers, now you have 90, starting off on the second round, so it's like, okay, that's cool, at least, you know what I'm saying, like, at least you're about to finally crack 100, because you stopped, you would have been cracked all that shit, but you stopped, shit happened, Somebody died. Shit happened. He stopped. You know, I'm a droughtster, you know? So uh, that's the funniest thing I can imagine. She dubbed me right before I started bankrolling. I just started throwing bankrolls on her from the friend zone. You gonna leave this nigga in the friend zone? Start bringing in $10,000 a month. Get right out of the fun zone. Get drafted. First round pick. It's crunch time. Meet the new trainer. I said that he gotta go. So anyway, the color color thing, you know, I'm cool with it how it all played out, like, I'm really cool with that shit, because, like, by, um, you know, by ending, I get my focus back, and I continue, I can continue focusing on what I was doing, and, you know, I'm working on some really cool, great things, and they're gonna just leave me where I'm, you know, intending to go with everything, so I'm not worried about it, you know, um, I do want to focus on the, the trading and the stock holding and the stock trading and all that. The crypto holding, the ripple and everything and just focus on that and get this money out, you know. But, um, you know, I definitely miss hanging out with it, so. But it's whatever. I'm chilling. Gucci. <laughs> it's like I built my creative mind to the point where I could be self-sufficient enough emotionally to where it's like even though I didn't want to be alone it doesn't matter you give me 24 hours of alone time in the house by myself with my equipment and I can create you know and I will and I will end up creating more and I just leave it at that and like that's what I do day in day out day in day out day in day out no life just day in day out and still Question if I'm gonna make it at the end of the day. Dead or alive. I gotta set up two plans. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. So focus on the the dead part first and then you know you know what I'm saying? Like so that's why I've been focusing on the this almost whole other shit. When I watch these Instagram videos I realize I'm exactly who I wanted to be. A long time ago. Look at this shit, man. Holy oh, shit. Start like some shit Javante Davis go with, man. Yeah. What nigga? What? Loma Chink, what nigga? My eyes are Loma Chinko, nigga. My eyes are Loma Chink low, nigga. Shout out to Chizzy Loma Chink low, nigga. Loma Chink low! Now listen. It's like in stocks or in relationships, it's pump and dump, right? So that's funny, right? Common denominator, you know. But it doesn't matter if they know about you while you're alive. Just set up everything and have it all ready. And once you die, they finally care. And then you're a fucking legend from out of nowhere. They have no idea. You just literally came out of nowhere. That they're just going to be mad that you were just sneaking around in the grass. Stalking like a fucking tiger for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like, you know, everyone's going to be mad. Like, even, like, the enemy is like, like, 
how do we not find out about this nigga? How do we let this nigga write all this shit and do all this shit? We, like, cause like when, when you have the spotlight and then oh, what are you working on? No, a bunch of shit that can get me killed. So I'm not gonna say anything about it. So you bypass all that shit. Bypass all that shit. It catches them all off guard. They won't even know what's in my arsenal. They have no idea. You know what I'm saying? Like, let us declare creative warfare. 2017. So now that I got it to talk to me, I just got the fuck up and leave her alone again because it's a lot of stuff to focus on. Now, we're gonna get on that trading shit, right? Ripple SMP is going up. Finally. It's been two years. It's been a long ass time. This entire time in New York. That shit just be crashing and crashing. And I could have got rich as fuck just by pressing the opposite button. Real shit. It's two buttons, jackass. It's two buttons. One is that color, and the other is the color of the jacket you want to get next. Right? Yeah. I use their own human nature against them. They hate to admit that shit. Alright, I seen your video now. You won't watch the shit. I die. You watch the shit. You know? Makes me want to say, you know, screw off. But that's how it is. I understand it. So I use it to my benefit. I use it against you. You don't have to admit it. I'm gonna prove it to you, you know? So, that's what I'm doing. Using the human nature against, you know, that shit. So, that's what we're doing. Like, bottom line with it. Oh, like, oh, I write books. So, I mean, so, like, nobody's gonna buy them to have died, jackass. You know what I'm saying? I could get lucky. But that's a waste of time. Just focus on the facts. So the forest market opens tomorrow and we have two accounts. Two trading accounts already loaded with Canadian dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. See, that's not funny to anyone but me. Canadian dollars, euros, Great British pounds, USDs. Now why will we have trading accounts that are building equity in those? Well, interest rate and shit like that, but not really. Who gives a fuck about interest rate? When you get paid, nigga. When you get an interest at the rate of speed of light, nigga. What? I make my own interest, nigga. To the bank. Fuck off. Three percent my ass. Real shit. Now that when I say that it's like you feel bad, but why you feel bad? Because you really feel that way. It it applies. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel bad. There's no reason to feel bad. It's like and deny. Oh no, don't say that. No, 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 no. You know that you shut up. You know what I'm saying? You know, get in damn well. That shit's true. It's a dead peasant policy. It's intellectual property. It's more valuable with the intellect that created the property. It's no longer alive. That's how it goes. So, my job while I'm alive is to just continue to create. And that's it, and that's it, and that's it. And it was a totally selfless thing to do. As the artist, like, I got no recognition for none of it. I may never see none of that shit. And I have to be okay with that. Like, I have to literally live with the fact that I may never even fucking know if it happened for me. <laughs> that is the worst part of it, honestly. Everything. It's professional wrestling. Everything is professional wrestling! Pretty soon I'm gonna start talking like that in these videos. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you all the heads up. I'm gonna stop being so soft spoken. Pretty soon you're gonna hear every fucking word we say! 
<laughs> now look. <laughs> Hold up. See, I can do that because I can't see the foot. to laugh with me so this is the last one so that's where faith comes in to where it's just like gotta walk by faith you know not by sight so walk by vision so I just God got me and I just want to set everything up and then once I die it's just it's gonna be awesome so I don't look at that as negative that's just the end goal it's like I will get my recognition at the end of my life for what I did with my life. That's all I'm saying. And that's totally logical. When I say it like that, it makes sense. Yeah, it sucks. So I have to wait till the very end. And like, even like after it ends, like I may not even see it at all. I have to be totally cool with that. Would you still do it for a double Scooby snack? Even if you couldn't see it at all, you wouldn't even know. Would you still go? So, I just hit my head. I don't know if you can see it on there, but yeah, it's like a little JFK thing. It's weird. So, um, sorry. Now, let's say we get it right with the SMP with the trading part, and we're holding it as well in the trading accounts, which is going to be phenomenal money, but get the trading right because the way SRP. The way SRP fluctuates is 2,000 points at a time. So at the normal leverage, it would be, that would be $20. So half that leverage would be 10 or whatever. So what? Uh, 2,000 points, $20. Uh, 10, 10 miles every thousand points, yeah, $20 back and forth. And I would be like, yeah, because that's the only thing that's going to make it all worth it. You know, I've had a broken arm by from seven on. So, you know, that other shit entices me. So I just felt the uh, emotions you were filled from relationships my whole life I felt those horrible things so you know <laughs> nah nah so yeah let's go roll somebody nigga Twenty dollars back and forth. Twenty dollars back and forth. Twenty dollars back and forth. So that's hundred dollars a day. Like I started off trading Ripple. I was outside. I started laughing because like now they're like color colors are like right. So I'm like. Now it's, it's time to c start cashing out. And I started laughing. And then I was like, and I'm laughing to myself while I'm saying this shit. But I'm just like, you've been playing around for two years. It's time to start cashing out. Like, the amount of money that I had in equity, I just would have took that off this entire two years and you no know, tell her. Because the name of the game is not to never leave the casino. Go up in there, bust some niggas' heads and get the fuck out. You know, so, but... I've been learning how to 
That's why I wasn't cashing out. Cause I was watching it move every day. I needed to know how to retire. Chat, what's up with all this happy ass music? So, I had a really good thing. I fucked it up, so that's why. It's just like, let's get this trader right, right? Here's what we're gonna do. We can get the trader right. And we are going to stand to my. <laughs> yeah, clearly I'm just honestly not in that mode of where I'm just letting the Z cracking jokes and stuff. No matter how much I smoke, so I just. I'm gonna get this through. Pardon me. <laughs> We're gonna get this through. Get this through. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this, man. We're gonna get through this, alright. Now, what are we gonna do? I'll tell you in the next video. But. <laughs> I know what she makes per hour, I know what she makes overtime per hour, so I can figure out how much she makes per week or month, and I know what some of her short term goals are that require funding. Which is a brand new car and the move to Texas on top of whatever else she has to pay for it before doing that. And I guess even after getting to Texas, like, what to do then by her you know, like is she going to you know if you uh, you know if you cash app someone thousands of dollars are they going to send it back This is audio. They wouldn't even know. You would think I was just you know, struggling. The mask helps just tremendously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, who saw? Shout out to Dex, shout out to Dex, Twins of to Dex. Life's a simulation. Now listen. I've been in a coma for 30 years and I need to wake up right now. Now. Make the money, get her to take the money. Shouldn't have to try it hard, but 
Might have to try hard. Because. I'm on condition. Like a fucking genie. Alright? Whether or not she likes me or she wants to be with me, she wants to have a baby or all that stupid shit. Or not. It doesn't matter. Like, if I can help her, I will. So, if it's like the genie, it's like. If that's what you want, then okay. You know, I would send you to Texas. You know what I'm saying? Like, get the car, do all that, and then you could just go. You don't have to worry about like, what I'm up to. Just take it on. So then I just say I bought a brand new car and I let her drive to Texas and she never came back. And it would just be a funny thing to say. But, you know, I finally bought a car. But I let her drive to Texas. When she coming back? Whenever the fuck she feels like it. I don't know. So. And. That would just be really cool to do because that would be a marker in my life. I was just like, well, shit changed. Look at what you just said. Look at this story. You know? Wait till you tell the homies on the block this shit. They're gonna lose their fucking minds, man. You do what? These niggas get mad when I spend $20. What? You, what the hell? Just focus on the trading, continue to focus on the continue to focus on the YouTube and the the audio and the writing, get back on the writing and because you, you're writing the sketches. You started writing down ideas for sketches while you were at work and that's what you need to start doing. Like be able to just get this stuff done, at least the writing aspect, but we're gone. But you are gone for twelve hours, you're going to have some time to, to write some ideas down man. You know, so I'm gonna have to just be doing that every day. Like, like I'm looking forward to that, and like I'm starting to get this real. Like, it's like what I'm doing now with the sketches and stuff. I'm doing more comedy album type things and anecdotes and Chad stories and Chad minutes, and I'm and I'm going into the the Chad film cinematic universe and just. I'm still a nobody, and I've acquired enough to overtake Hollywood by myself. I'm at the gate, bitch. <laughs> See me outside. <laughs> Sounds like I was thinking about last night at work, like this morning. I was like, bro, you go home and you go in the closet and you crack jokes on camera and on audio. Like it's fucking hilarious. It's awesome. It's really awesome. You should try it. Just go home. Go in the closet. <laughs> Oh shit, oh you should try it, just, that's gonna be fun, I think you'll have fun, they're gonna be mad, <laughs> but, 
You should try it. It's fun. What are you doing when you go home? I'm going in the closet and screaming. Yeah, because at the end of the day, what she like doesn't realize is that like if she has like, a, like there is no motive that benefits me if I'm doing what she wants to do. She wants to go to Texas. She needs a car. She has this $2,500 debt. I got more than that and shit with something. But if that's what she wants to do, and that's what she wants to be, and I'm the one that sends her there, and like, she didn't, you know, want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? You know what I'm saying? If that's where she wants to go, then when she's not, you know, getting there, she will eventually not like that. So if I get a chance to be able to do that for her, I'll do it because it does benefit me because then it gets her out of the equation. So that's that's what it does for me. It's like, it was just like, whoa, like, you know, I, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send her wherever she wants to go. Here you go. You know, here's your ticket. Here's everything. You can just go. You won't see me tomorrow. I'm paying for you to go if that's what you want to do. So, and I'll go somewhere too. So, I was just sending you off before I went off. And that's all. Shit. And it's time to buy more mono atomic gold. I haven't been on it in a year, at least. So, that's going to get interesting. It's about time. Let's get back on that. Fuck the bullshit. It's very inexpensive. It's just, I haven't had my card to order this shit or anything. So, go ahead and do that. But, um, yeah, I just want to focus on the shit. Like, it's it's a goal. It, it just, it's, I'm using that energy. That's all. It's like, I like her. She wants to do this. So, use that to transmute. You know, the manifestation through the emotion. So, boom, boom, do that. Boom, now, like I said, okay, I figured out how to do it now. So, as a thank you to actually being kind of responsible, because this shit didn't come together until I met her, and everything didn't come together. So, if it fully comes together and my skills, you know, match that, then. It's, uh, it's about to get crazy, and it's about to get fucking crazy, and uh, I don't want to say I'm going to have more money than I know what to do with it, because I know what to do with it, and that's just going to make you want to ask for a loan, but I'm just saying it's going to get really fucking crazy, so that would just be like the first thing I, I do for someone else that's like, you know, it's just, because that's the only way to really prove it. It's like, I care and I sent you away because that's what you want to do. So, bye nigga, fuck it. Yeah. I am gonna stop pressing this next button and shit, but you know, you have a great day, but yeah, that's what I want to focus on is just getting the trading down pat and the ripple SRP and making hundreds a day and getting that up to you know eventually a thousand you know just doing all that and I just really want to help her so it, it might take a minute to stack around that it just depends who knows you know but um besides that I have to throw the profits in, into stocks and shit like that We'll see what happens.
But, uh, you know, I'm going to have to have the majority of accounts all going into stocks. Really, yeah, it's only going to be a few accounts where I, I am pulling off the... I press it again. But, yeah, you know, I, uh... It's like I really miss her. And it's okay, because... I'm balling. And, um, in my mind, now I want to. help her with her goals like that's what a friend is like she's trying to be friends fuck it we'll be friends and watch this i'm stuttering and shit it's like all right she didn't want to be with me and then i was the one to send her away so that's why i get the satisfaction of that all right see where you want to go Boom, 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 everything set up, boom. The, the whole time, it's like, why'd you leave? <laughs> you know. But, that's how I want to do this shit. You want to go there? I say, yeah. So I'm selling my good name. Oh shit, nigga. Tell nigga I don't want to be with him. You sent me off and forgot where to go. Where would you like to go, darling? Where does your heart take you? You know? We send her ass right off to Texas. You know? Whatever you want. She gonna take the money? How do I set all that shit up? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I have to calculate it all on my own. She's not gonna tell me. I know enough, so it doesn't matter, but it's just just enough to for both both sides of it. What she has to pay here, what she has to pay there, you know, for that. And then she can figure her life out from there and then it's just like Ooh, yeah, I just wanted to give her positive memories of me forever. If I'm able to do that, then... Time to cook some tuna melt, so I just want to say on the side note, I just love you, Debbie. I miss J-Lo shit. Puffy. Stop making out as I miss J-Lo. I can sing it. Now, I'm about to make some tuna melts, and... I'm really enjoying my life in New York. I'm really enjoying my life, period. And I just want to slap myself some days. Like every day, once, I just want to slap myself. When I realize, like, like you're in New York, like, pandemic and all, when traded. I'm a little nervous because everything that I've been seeking out, I'm starting to get it all. Whether it's like the inner peace of mind and getting rid of all the chaos that was residual. Chaos left in the mind from chaotic events or whatever. Just, um, I'm just really grateful to God. And I'm really nervous about what's up next. I don't know. I don't know. And uh, I just want to get all my, my work out on the internet.
So, this is when I stopped recording because this is when I got to. I'm about to go too deep within my own thoughts, and I just. I'm not going there with you. You know. So I feel like it's a sensitive topic because it's what it's the ultimate goal for me is the uh, the legacy, you know. So what I'm leaving behind, it's like so. You all have a good day. Dear Carla, I miss you. <laughs>